This is the BMW 2002 TII from the 70s. It is the grandfather of the 3 Series and I've always wanted to drive one. And here I am in sunny Italy about to do just that. Now, I'm also hoping this beautiful orange car will tell me something about where the modern day 3 Series in India comes from. This is the car that preceded the 3 Series. And just look at it. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? Simple clean lines, nice chrome detailing, small 13 inch wheels and skinny tires. It looks absolutely promising to drive. Shall we get in? Oh, just look at it. It's, it's so simple and pure, this, this car has a big glass area. Great visibility, slim steering, lovely driving position, three simple dials, no big I drive. I just I just love it. I just love it. And when was the last time you saw a key like this? I mean, simple, there's no big key fob. You just slot it in there, press the clutch, and there's some throttle. Yeah. Under the hood is a simple four-cylinder, two valves per cylinder, single overhead cam engine. The second I in the name stands for the Kugel Fischer fuel injection system and at least when it was new, this engine made 130 horsepower. It's such a sweet thing this car, I mean it's from the 70s and I can't believe it drives so well. I mean there is some slack in the steering. But once you wind on some lock, it just becomes immediately direct and communicative, just like a BMW. And the brakes too, they, they need a bit more of a shove, but that's, that's normal. I mean, I think, I can't remember another 70s car that drives like this. Uh, the gearbox needs a bit of effort, but that's okay. Still got that old bit of gemness in it, if that's a correct term. And the engine, it's a 2000cc motor. But it's still so sweet in the way it responds. It pulls really well. It's a four-cylinder motor. But as you rev more, it just keeps pulling harder and harder. I mean, that is a cliche, but yeah, it works here. I love it. Yeah, so the thing is, it's got just 130 horsepower, which may not sound like much. But also remember, the car weighs just about 1,010 kilos. So that's, that's why it's, it's still got the, the buzz with it. The 2002 TII has no power steering, brakes need a strong leg on them to make them work properly and the manual 4-speed gear shift isn't the most positive around. But that could be just down to its age. However, there's no faulting the way it drives once you get a move on. This is one of the cars that set the template for the compact sporting saloon way back then and I can see why it's done that. It's so easy to drive, I mean, you would want to get in it and go fast. That's what's special about this. The 2002 TII was also known for its exemplary ride quality and it's still supple by today's standards. There's still so much charm in this car. And so, like I said, it's really amazing what they achieved with this car in the 70s. Uh, I really like the way it drives. I like the way it feels like one piece of metal. It's just, it's just really tight still. And uh, as for my 3 Series question, I think if you take a new 3 Series and start peeling away some of the electronics and throw away some of the weight, you just might find a 2002 TII somewhere under there.